So you know the saying, April showers bring May flowers. Well, Ontario could only hope so because right now things are not looking pretty in the province. The Fraser Institute says its debt levels are worse than California's and it's on the road to hitting levels only seen in Greece. Niels Veldhaus, president of the Fraser Institute, joins us now live in studio. Good to have you here in the flesh. Thanks for having me here. So um, not so good news when it comes to Ontario, not surprising, but you're reiterating that uh, really we're on track for big problems ahead. Yeah, that's right. Look, I mean, we, we all have heard about California's fiscal nightmare. Its own treasurer says it's a train wreck. You hear it in the news all the time. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to comparing the debt levels in California and Ontario, Ontario is mu much, much worse. $240 billion in debt here in wow. Ontario relative to $144 billion in California. So the problem here is a lot worse than, on, than, uh, than in California, but California gets all the negative press. You know, it's startling. You're talking about America's most indebted state. And, and actually, it's a good comparison because it's such a startling one. So it really makes us sort of open our eyes. Speaking of opening our eyes, though, you know, last year we heard from Don Drummond, this economist. He came out with this list of 300 and something recommendations. Have you seen any of them applied yet in the province? No, I mean, that's the problem. We, we had this blue ribbon commission that looked at the public service headed by, headed by Don Drummond, and it was basically ignored. Uh, and so Ontario has this very significant fiscal problem. Its debt is increasing at a very rapid pace. Uh, in fact, it's going to go to 66% of GDP from its current state of, uh, of 37 in, in just a few years, in, in seven years. Uh, and so if it doesn't get its act together, uh, it will head down the road that Greece is heading down. And so, you know, unfortunately, we had this uh, Blue Ribbon Commission and nothing was done. And we got a budget coming up and uh, let's hope that we see a, a plan in the next budget because if we don't, uh, things don't look good for the province. I was just going to say, now you scared our viewers even more. Now we've said California, most indebted American state, and Greece. Yeah. I mean, we've covered the problems in Greece extensively. Crisis, really, Absolutely. in the Eurozone, thanks to Greece at this point. So let's talk about some ways, some things that you'd like to see happen with the government. We're looking at Premier Kathleen Wynne in the background here. What can the government do to sort of take baby steps to get us back to where we should be? Well, it's not really about taking baby steps. That's the unfortunate right, part. Loose. I mean, yeah, it's, it's waited too long to take the baby steps. We could have taken baby steps back in 2002. Now it really is about reform. And look, if the Ontario government continues to do what it's doing, which is ignoring the problem and pushing it off into the future, uh, it's going to leave Ontario with a real big problem. We can deal with it now, but we need a credible plan to balance the budget. We can't balance the budget over six to ten years. We need a plan that balances in a shorter time frame. We, we have to look at reforming government programs, and those are the big ones. I mean, health care, education, social services, that's 80% of the budget. So that's where we need to focus because without savings in those areas and without reform in those areas, it's going to be very difficult to balance the budget. Niels, i got to ask you, are you optimistic? Are you seeing anything from this government to date that tells you it's possible? It's possible to, to solve this fiscal problem? I'm optimistic, uh, not because of the government, but okay. I'm optimistic because when I talk to Ontarians, they understand and they're starting to understand the gravity of the problem. And, and that obviously, uh, that's a good sign because if they demand change, uh, then we're going to get change from the political classes. And so uh, that's a note of optimism, uh, despite the fact that the outlook doesn't uh, perhaps look, uh, look that rosy. And yet the concern, and you and I were actually just talking about this off camera, is that unfortunately, Ontarians get the picture. I live in Ontario. I understand you know, the, the seriousness of the problem right now, but I'm not a decision maker. Right. And so really this this is about uh, Ontarians putting pressure on the decision makers, understanding the scope of the problem. You know, we're worse than California, heading towards Greece. Let's make sure our politicians understand that uh, and put pressure on them to change. Really good to have you here. Thanks Appreciate for having it. Me. All right. Niels Veldhaus is president of the Fraser Institute joining us live in studio.